Stuttgart now concedes they're out of the title race, but they're still determined to compete with Bayern Munich for a second place finish, which would mean automatic qualification for next season's Champions League. But a daunting challenge lies ahead as they take on Red Hot Berta Bremen, who rattled off 16 straight matches without a loss since Stuttgart handed them their last defeat back in September. It's revenge time for the league leaders. Stuttgart, Bremen, the Bundesliga continues next. Stuttgart, Werder Bremen, live from the Gottlieb Daimler Stadion, concluding round 26 of the German Bundesliga on the one and only Fox Sports World America Soccer Channel. I'm your host, Alan Hopkins. So glad you could join us. Bayern Munich won yesterday. Down that lead for Werder Bremen. Cut to eight with a victory. We'll see it back to double digits. Last meeting highlights. Coincidentally, the last loss for Bremen. All Stuttgart. Zavich made it 1-0. Karanyi making it 2 Stuttgart were on their way. Second half action, though. Bremen cut the deficit in half. Chair stays. But Christian Tiebert, the seal, the deal, the Visa start in. Been a roll reversal of Stuttgart is slumped, and Bremen unbeaten since. Timo Hildebrand called up to the German national team by Rudy Voller this week for the friendly against Belgium on Wednesday. Congratulations to him. He still conceded a paltry 10 goals all season long. Soldo, the captain, Cadania hasn't scored in 825 minutes, but he keeps his place. For Werder Bremen, consistency. That's been a big key to their season so far. The usual suspects in the starting 11, including Ailton, leading the way with 22 goals and five assists in the campaign. But how about Fabian Ernst? He's got a club high 10 assists as well. Two of the top three teams in the league battling Bayern Munich, the defending champions sandwiched in there between eight points now after Bayern Munich won yesterday. Bremen with a victory can go back to 11. You see Stuttgart 14 points behind the Ruhr Clubs and then the bottom half of the table. Hanover, Hertha Berlin, Cologne, the bottom three remain unchanged. Gladbach, Frankfurt, even Kajasadon will be in that relegation dogfight. Big time match, big time referee Herbert Vondel. The man in charge, Felix McGath. Been cracking the whip with his troops. Out of the Champions League, bounced out unluckily by Chelsea on the Fernando Mena own goal. Well, Tomas Shaw's been cracking his own whip. He's been determined to curb the joy that's been seeping out of the players. They have an 11-point lead at the top of the table. We're underway. Stuttgart in the white, playing here at home. And they scored a record of seven wins, five draws, and just one defeat. The only team to take the three points away from here this season, Bayer Leverkusen back in round 17, final match of 2003. Bremen have been the league leaders for some time now, but I don't know if they've gotten the respect they deserve. Early ball across, side foot away. Or Zivkovic is there. Here's Hildebrand. Tremendous season. Hildebrand is enjoying. Philip Lamb also having a breakout year, and he's awkwardly tackled by Johan Miku. Lamb on loan from Bayern Munich to the end of next season. Stuttgart trying to get him outright. Bayern, of course, trying to renege on the two-year loan deal and get him back in the fold for next season. If they didn't even realize they had a great player in Lamb lying in wait, or maybe they did, just too crowded. And Bayern. Michael Gerber getting a rare start in his fourth appearance of the season. Gets Christian Listy to commit the foul. And she's appeared in every match. Three goals, eight assists for the Hungarian. Early ball, Ailton looking for the return from Klasnic.
Freeman have won two of the last three coming in. Let Stuttgart win the last meeting, as you saw. Last ten meetings. Ismael can't control it. Concedes the corner. Put right down the middle. Four wins apiece and two draws. Ismael. A bit casual. Let's see if they have to pay the ultimate price here. Kanani hasn't scored in 825 minutes and counting. Good looking ball, the header! They indeed capitalize on the mistake. 1 0. Marcelo Jose Bogon. His first league goal this season, eighth in his Bundesliga career. And Ismael. So casual, give away the corner. Stuttgart says, no, you don't. You're not going to get away with that. Punished straight away. The initial corner of the match. The initial goal. Miles abound. For Bordone and company. Looking for the season series sweep. Miku. Klasnich and almost got through. Ailton's on it. For those header. Effective. Ernst pouncing on it. Got a touch, but straight to Hildebrandt. Fifth minute. Let's take a look at the Stuttgart bench. Zanyakin. He hasn't really settled since moving from Swiss football. Basel. Christian Tiefert scored in the first meeting, as did Emre Zabic for Bremen. Cheris Days, he had a goal in the first meeting between these clubs. Marcus Don, Skribanik, Tim Borowski, and Valdez rounding out the Bremen bench. Flag stays down. Reinke appeared to be off his line. Karanyi didn't get all of it. Klasnich. Sold though the tackle, not once but twice. Reinke had to make a big play here. Ooh, I think it's offside. Flag stayed down. I mean, look at that. The fist, he was just outside the area. But you know what? He plays it off. That's the key. That's the key. He doesn't act like he did anything wrong. Toe that fine line. Tackle by Kananyi. He's going to get a foul for his efforts. Stuttgart roaring out of the gates. We've had a chance to talk to the biggest personalities in the Bundesliga and the Fox Sports World Hotline. I've asked them over and over again about Bremen. No one seems to respect this team, especially the last few weeks when everyone's been calling them lucky fortunate to get the results free kick headed away Lamb will get another chance flattens it out for Zivkovic early ball onside Hildebrand excellent goalkeeping Reinke the basket catch at the top of his box what a great play by Hildebrand Ailton was away the flag had stayed down Ernst. Good ball. I yield it. Not strong enough. Lamb. Working on Ernst. Getting the foul. All Stuttgart right now. Lamb drives his restart along the mid strike. Christie's again called for a foul. Again, it's on Heiko Gerber. Back in round nine. Raymond lost to Stuttgart. They have not tasted defeat since 16 straight in the Bundesliga. Good one, two, Meisner. 
have won four straight. After a draw with Schalke, second round, 21, Bremen. Look at the goal again, Heiko Gerber. Bordone, nodding it down and into the corner. The dream start for the host. Ernst. Plastic's not going to get to it. Raymond have been terrific. Away from home. Only one loss this entire season. That was to the West Fallen Stadi and against Dortmund 2-1. In round five. Kept in by Fernando Mena. The cross deflected on the way. The header. Meisner came streaking in. And Silvio Meisner wasn't in the team in the middle part of the season, but he's been in the team here to finish. Can't knot it down. Took a high bounce. Going applying the pressure. Hamilton inadvertently flicked it for Klasnich. Hamilton missed a penalty last week. It's Wolfburn. Klasnich and McCoo were the heroes in that 2-0 victory. Stuttgart. Meanwhile, had to settle for a two-all draw with Cologne. No goal by Matthias Scherb. Saved Stuttgart in the end. Bordeaux on the goal score. Penanyi. In directions to Streller, his strike partner, as they sort out the defensive responsibilities. Stanch. That knock's not going to get there. Schultz had to help it out. Bounce in the back. Heyman struggling. Schultz. Oh, a kind carom. So Bremen looking anything but polished. Refusing to accept that the towel is heading to the northeast. The shop was really upset because some of the players of that the Wolfsburg match were singing some celebratory songs. Streller. Put behind his intended target. Gerber, though, on the ground. Meisner couldn't hold it back to goal. It's an aimless ball to the back. Meisner sensing a chance to pressure. Reinke keeps his cool. The scud, though. Meisner too close to the action as he played it off very well. He was offside. Trying to make sure that Herbert Fondell knew he was not involved in the play. Tico with the new version of the offside rule this gives even more of an advantage to the attack I'm Christanich Ayelton on the chase here Hildebrand good first touch good first touch by Timo Hildebrand settled down the entire sequence Soldo Meta left it short for Lamb Miku out of the reach of Ailton. Gerber. Meisner. Gerber making a good run. He'll get it. Lattens it out. The cross. Could have went anywhere. Lev was waiting for it. Pressure by Meisner. Meh. Lamb. Attack mode. The tackle by Schultz. Stanch back on. Bremen playing short-handed for a moment. Soldo. 
Mana. Link is there. Moving out to Schultz, making just his 11th appearance this season. Fifth start. Iolte. Cross. Klasnich! Oh! Are you kidding me? 1-1! One, one. Eli Klasnich starts the sequence. And he finishes it in style. Look at this. Still a lot to do. Bang! What a finish by the newly capped Croatian international. It was my vote for most improved player in the Bundesliga this year. The shot as Stuttgart trying to answer back straight away. We are going to have a good one here. Two early goals. Not even a quarter of an hour in. Finished by Klasnich. Timkovic. Sold up. The ball do the work. Meisner. Bounces one for Gerber. Gerber. Valtteri. Well played. And he takes the foul. Hamburg and Kaiserslautern. Today's Sunday fixture as well, scoreless. There it is again. I mean, this is born out of nothing for the most part. Then Klasnich, good turn, held off Bordeaux, and then just blasted into the side, netting far post. Sixth assist of the season for Ailton. Ailton. On a handball, the volley in. Still in play. Sixty-second goal. Bremen have scored. Naylton's had a hand in 28, nearly half of Bremen's goals. Coming up Sunday, today, French soccer, 5 p.m. Eastern time, 2 p.m. Pacific. Loans. Taking on PSG, join my colleague and good friend Mike Bretos for French Soccer Loans and PSG on Fox Sports World. Leon getting a crucial goal from Giovanni Elbert, the former Bundesliga standout yesterday in French First Division action. Schultz, good ball square. Schultz, foot raise here. It's going to be won by Mera. Portuguese international deflected off of Schultz for a Stuttgart throw. Very, very good year. Miku and Ailton. Two on the wall for Stuttgart. Hildebrand on the ready. Good looking ball. Hildebrand's got it. Stuttgart now conceded 13 goals this season. Still well under a goal per game. That's Ailton cleaning things up defensively.
Bauman, the skipper. Ooh, he's got a nasty tear. And then he came down on his ankle. Let's see if we can get a closer look at his sock. And a hole in it. Women International is trying to walk it off. And it down. Kuhn was pressuring for a moment, trying to get to the loose ball. Lab, he's barely had any touches. Micah, premature. Kudanyi, nearly made a neat play on it. Schultz, plenty of work to do. Can't keep it in. Micah's looked shaky on his clearances. Terry trying to curl one in. Hold him. Still trying to play quickly. And now, got themselves in the match finally. Took a goal to do it. That's usually more than enough. Lichtings. He's behind Klasnich. And then Omer. He's gravitated to a much more of a midfield role. Because he's so good on the ball. Went up that time by a double team. Did not. Kostaich. Cool. Going to be on his way to the EPL at the end of the season. More on that later. Stahl Terry. Ailton. Stahl Terry, the Canadian. Good looking ball. Hildebrand in his hand. Good distribution by Hildebrand. And a bad ball, just headed away. And there he is, Mael. I have to double check, but I believe he's the only player to play every minute of every game this season. Has not come out once, has played 90 in every single match. Tremendous, tremendous ability to show up each and every day, train. Stay away from injury, takes a little bit of luck. Different credit must be doing quite a few things right. Man up, shakes Ernst loose. Strella went down. I tell you what, the big fella's got some skill. The young Czech signed during the winter break. Has one goal in eight appearances. Oh, Displaced Henry Zavich, who got off to a hot start this season. We have displaced Andres Amatidinis, who's on loan at Frankfurt now. Rodon's got a heavy free kick. He'll take it. Take something off. This change up fooled everyone. been rumored to be the first choice at least the domestic options for Bayern Munich should Otmar Hitzfeld move on before the end of his contract of course that's all linked up with Chelsea we're also linked with England coach Sven Joran Eriksson well it gets confusing at times but one thing for sure Hitzfeld said he's not going anywhere anytime soon Miku Miku! Ailton! Johan Miku, the graceful Frenchman. Moving for the final pass. Strelick going to draw the foul from Schultz in midfield. Schultz, you're in the books. 
its fourth yellow of the season, one away from an automatic suspension. Tommy Nurse, the only player sitting on four. In this match, Bauman and Stalteri have five apiece. Stalteri and Bauman already serving their suspensions. Reinke, who looks a little shaky. Or though, we'll see if he goes on goal here. Ball in the wall. Near post over the wall. He goes through the wall instead! How do you let me down? Two goals today for Bordeaux. And Stuttgart reclaimed the lead. Was it just me, or did it look like he was going to go near post the entire time? But with a wall like that, who needs enemies? Right through the wall. Micah beaten. Bordeaux, what a day. And 24 appearances for Bordeaux in the Bundesliga. Eight, nine goals now. This is a day he will not forget. Listies. Listies. Oh, he just missed in a dramatic equalizer. Back and forth we go. Look at the wall again. Right through Salteri and Klasnich. Got to be better than that. Got to be better than that. Glances off Salteri. Reinke almost got a piece of it. But he wasn't going to keep it out. Make sure you stay with us at halftime. We'll have our weekly look at Saturday's action in the Bundesliga. 